Friday. Got to take off my uh, my Thrive patch. Put a new one on. So we get that ready. You know, maybe this stuff is why I get so been getting so wired up lately. I've only been on this thing a short time. Uh, it's a nutrition supplement. I like to think of it as a, uh, as I'm old school, I, I like to think of this as uh, a diet plan, because that's why I'm taking it, to lose weight. Come on, hands. <laughs> Nothing's working yet. It's too early in the morning. I'll tell you, I've been down a ragged road here. You guys have uh, worn me out. It's been two weeks that we're waiting on getting that uh, engine case line board. And the weather's been kind of goofy. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to have some fun and just share a little bit of my life with you guys. I've got a lot done cleaning up the garage. Springtime, you know, you got all that yard work to do, but been watching a lot of videos, making a lot of videos. A lot of drama been going on, as you know. So it's just uh, been one of those wild rides. We, uh, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. Of course, you all know that. And look what uh, St. Patrick left for me. I think it's all Stu's fault up there in uh, Canada. Fin painter. And it's still coming down. The, uh, as usual, I, I turn this. There's something the matter with my volume. I, it just is not as loud as it used to be. You recognize this guy in here? Talk about getting beat up. This is one of my, uh, you know, I just refuse to give shout outs. I really, really, I, I just don't see the point in it because everybody has a life and they're doing their thing and they're posting that stuff up on YouTube for whatever reason they have and we enjoy each other's company. It's, it's a wonderful experience and I usually for a shout out I'll say, you know, check the people that leave comments below because cause that way you're not really prejudicing anybody. Uh, you, you let the viewers, the new viewers, judge for themselves. But this guy, Rusty Glovebox, Lloyd, uh, there is an outstanding... He, he's one of those quiet heroes in the background, in my mind. You know, he never gets involved in the drama. He makes an outstanding video. He's uh, creative. He is talented in what he does. He's built cars. He's got an outstanding shop. He's clean. His videos are are edited and well thought out. He's got background music. Uh, I, you never know what you're going to get when you get to that guy because it's exciting. And I've tried to uh, adopt some of his things. I try to adopt things from everybody. I back engineer everything. I overthink everything. When you come to my site, I want you to, you know, oh my god, I wonder what Easy Jeezy's doing today. I wonder what this video is going to be about. I want to be the unexpected. I don't want it to be the same old thing all the time. I think that's how you grow your channel. And to me, growing a channel is kind of crazy anyhow. You know, you look at a lot of people that seem to be the only thing they're interested in is uh, views and, and uh, subs and stuff like that. Maybe some people are making money off of it or whatever the deal. Uh, there's, it's craziness. There's, a, there's every once in a while, and every once in a blue moon, I'll go to we'll see this Jenna Marbles. She is one of the YouTube greats. This gal puts up a video and she gets a million views in a week. No kidding. A million. She's a hot little thing. 
And I guess when I say this, I'm giving her a shout out. It's probably, you know, mostly guys, horny young guys watching her. She's a cute little gal. And she makes, she has found her niche. She finds out what people want and that's what she gives them. And this is her job. She, as, as I recall, because I ran into her, God, years ago, uh, stumbled into her channel. I don't watch just the same stuff all the time. I, I'm, I'm a little bit more... Uh, I spend so much time with you. I don't have a TV. I don't have a cell phone. I don't. I don't have a, a site on Facebook. I just uh, do my own thing. Um, I got my YouTube channel. I got my life. Uh, I rearranged the garage this week. Uh, went through a bunch of my toolboxes and cleaned and straightened and getting ready for. Uh, this build that's coming up. Guess what that is on the engine stand? It ain't the new engine. It ain't the new build. That's the old sand 1776. I decided to take it apart. I'll, uh, I wanted to find out. This is curiosity. I do this because I enjoy doing it. And I want to find out. There was a problem with the little 1776. I was going to fire it up for you guys. And there was something going on with the timing gear, and there's a bunch of bad brass. I screwed up that timing gear on there, so I thought, well, I want to check out these heads. Those are really sweet heads, in my humble opinion, because I built them 20 years ago. And I, I just, that's how you learn, is you get back into stuff, and you see cause and effect. I've, I've had my engines so many years, and done so many things to them, and that's the way I learn because I, I used to go out there and I'd look at see what Gene Berg suggests and I'd look at Hot V Dubs magazine there'd be an article it was all before YouTube and then I'd go to the sand dunes with my friends and we'd be sitting around the campfire at night and guys would be talking about their engines and what they did and what you should do and what you shouldn't do so all that accumulative knowledge is what fascinates me about this silly little engine I never gave a hoot about the Volkswagen car. I thought they were stupid when I was in high school and I didn't want one in front of me, that's for sure. Uh, one or two friends had one come and go for short periods of time, but I wasn't interested in Volkswagens. But it's such a versatile little motor with so many options. How can you not be intrigued by that? And once you get, once you have a reason to get involved with it, then that's the game changer and that's where the sand rails and travel into the sand dunes with my family of sand dune friends and they all kind of dispersed and went apart and that's I don't know that's maybe how I evolved into YouTube uh, bought that first computer and in 2000 and things that just grown from there but anyhow this is pretty boring stuff compared to what I've been putting up I gotta take my uh, breakfast and diet pill stuff here. That's what I call it. It's it's a product named Thrive. My daughter got me involved in it, and uh, you have to join. And it's a pyramid deal, and uh, I wouldn't mind selling it. But I'm on my first uh, nine, 30 days of the stuff, and boy, it it does wind you up. I. I can't even pronounce all the stuff that's in here. Caffeine, there's a lot of caffeine it seems like. Um, what does it say here? Keep out of reach of children. Well, I don't know how I got it in my hands. Let's see, I'll let you guys read that. That's what it contains. I can't. Porcelain green coffee. Bean extract. Garcinia. What the heck is all that stuff? White willow bark. Cosmophorin. Maybe that's why I've turned into such a high-speed chatterbox here lately, but I'm not really losing weight either. My daughter had an 11-day thing where she just woke up and she's starting to lose weight, uh, but she's exercising more. And the weather's just been such, and being involved in this engine and YouTube has taken so much of my time, I haven't really incorporated anything except the yoga and the yoga is not to burn calories the the yoga for me is to help my body organs and to uh, 
give me back some flexibility without the aches and pains. And like I said, this thing is getting way too long, but I definitely wanted to give a shout out to uh, Lloyd over there at Rusty Glove Box. You are a uh, loyal follower, top drawer individual. <laughs> Just a pleasure to have as a friend. Hope to meet you in person someday. So, you guys have a good one. Get something done. It's another Saturday for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy, jeezy, out.